I think it's a monumental idea. I think it will yield um, and be very positive as we go forward. Um, I thank the chairman once again for coming and actually uh, providing the trees. And I thank the principal, of course, for allowing us to, with the students, of course, the Sadie Curtis primary body. And as we sit here in our greenhouse, we've discussed the way forward. forward and now we're going to actually start the um, uh, curriculum program, right? Um, and I think that it will yield or put, provide us or put us on the road to food security, as is the Prime Minister's um, mandate. And I thank you, Chairman, once again. Thank you. For, <laughs> thank you for being a part of this great initiative. And like you said, um, we want everyone to be aware this, this, this whole journey is not just about the end goal but it's also about uh, for us to achieve that end goal is about the awareness so a part of this whole structure um, of mobilizing this program is the awareness we want the whole Bahamas to be aware of what FAMSI has undertaken it's like uh, the member said it's a monumental task um, but we we don't see it as a task we see it as a challenge we see it as something that is definitely needed it goes with our mandate um, the government's mandate for food security and resilience. So planting, the challenge is one-to-one -one tree planting initiative. Um, it's a tree planting uh, project that we have undertaken to try and see if we could, in, over the next few years, plant one food tree for every citizen of the Bahamas. So that will go a long way. We have to plan now for the future. These trees take years to grow and to bear fruit. So we have to start at some point. This is the starting point now. Um, this is just one of the many programs that we are putting forward at BAMSI for resilience and food security here in the Bahamas. And this program is not just centrally located uh, for Nassau. This is actually the entire Bahamas. We will be moving about the entire Bahamas over the next few months, over the next few years, just continuously planting our food trees to see if we could uh, meet our challenge of one food tree for every citizen of the Bahamas. So I thank the principal again for hosting us today and being a part of this initiative. And then I also thank the Member of Parliament for uh, this great constituency of Nassau Village uh, for joining us this morning and pushing this initiative. And obviously this school is one of his <laughs> prize because every time I see him, he's always present at this school. And today is just another one of those days. Um, he's contributing and making sure that the uh, students in his, his constituency and the schools in his constituency gets as much needed attention as possible. So I thank you for joining us and partnering with us on this initiative and we thank the students for being a part of this. So everyone knows now the one-to-one -one tree challenge, okay? So we're planting one fruit tree to every citizen of the Bahamas moving forward over the next few years. So hopefully in the next say 5, 10, 15 years, you guys passing this school, which will be your former school, you will be able to say to your children and your grandchildren that, hey, I planted that tree 10, 15 years ago, and now look, you are eating off of that same tree. So this is what it, what it is all about.